This is Jackson High School's 2015 lip dub. It's going to be to the song ABC by the Jackson 5. And what we're doing is essentially including every single student in the school and staff member, janitors, lunch personnel, all of them, into one shot. It's one take. The video runs continuously from one end of the school to the other, and everyone's involved. It's a great school spirit activity, and it's one way to get every single student a part of your school and feeling welcome and in an open environment, but it takes a lot of planning, and so we're going to talk about what it took for Jackson High School to set up its lift up, to plan it, this is its second, and how we ran it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Here at Jackson, we set our school up into nine different sections. We started at the very front entrance of our school. You can see it's really decorated in Jackson spirit and all that. And then we separate our sections into subsections. Each section had a leader, and they were in charge of the decorations, making sure it was set and ready to go. And then we set down on the tile blue masking tape, and the folks that are in our school all got a wristband with their number section, their section number, and their corresponding subsection, so they know exactly where they're going. When we release them all at once, they're going to their spots, and it ran very well last year. We're expecting it's gonna run very well this year. So to plan a lip dub, you need a couple of things. You need a leadership team, usually it's an assortment of student leaders, but you can also bring in students that just wanna be involved. You need a plan and you need admin approval, along with a couple other things, but those are the big three. You need to know exactly where your route is, where you're gonna be walking with a camera, equipment, and all of this, including the music, through hallways, sometimes tight, not easy to access spaces, so you need to set your route up early so you know what you're doing, and also set your leadership team up early. What we did at Jackson High School is we set our plan up because this is our second lift up, and then after that, we went to our administration team, our principals, our staff that were going to let us do this. We went to them with this proposal, which was very well put in place, and the plan was there. They were very happy that we had a plan set in place before we came to them with the idea. And that's really what helped cement our approval with the administration team and with the staff that let us do this. Another big portion of your lip dub is access. You need access to parts of the school that may be locked, like behind the stage, like here at Jackson High School. We have catwalks that go up over our lunchroom. So these are usually locked. There's a board that's set in place and we can't get up. We have to go to the janitorial staff, get access from admins. A lot of asking for permission involved with this. Access is huge though. You gotta always have those doors unlocked, ready to go right before you lift them. Lip dubs require a lot of detail and a lot of time. A lot of that goes into the decorations, like what we have here. The enormous wolf in it. That took four hours last night, and we set crepe paper strips, combined them with duct tape, and then hung them into the ceiling tiles above with paper clips. When it's all said and done, this lip dub's gonna span from one end of the school to the other, and our school is huge. It's enormous. It's 4A in Washington State, which means it's about 2,100 students, and they're all involved. It's the day before spring break, so we set ourselves on a schedule and a timetable that would work because it's a day that not a lot of school is going on. Decorated, decorated, decorated. We have each section set into themes. So right now we're in the Jackson uh, spirit section. We're going to go into another portion which they're still working on, which is nerds. And we set these subsections up in different themes and categories because it builds that really fun energy that everybody loves to be a part of. It goes into a classroom. Our lip dub goes all the way through the hallways and then into a classroom, which is in session, and I'm sure they don't mind me talking about them. It comes out of that classroom and into our library, and this theme changes again. So it's really, really involved. It's a lot of fun. It's, she's a nerd, so it's gonna be great. Hi. So everything you do with a lip dub is social, and that's why we use the hashtag, hashtag JHSABC. The song is ABC by the Jackson 5, and we're Jackson High School. So that's why we're really social about it. It's building school pride, and that's where everybody knows how to find it. Plus the community really gets involved, and they love to see it, and they love to see what we're doing. In every scenario, though, you might not be able to put your decorations up the night before. We have our path going through the lunchroom, so they had to take the tables down and clean up. This is only about two hours before, so we had to have a huge team of people clean up and get this all done in about 10, 15 minutes, which we did. And now the decorations are about to go up. Our path comes right through our annex, which is our secondary lunchroom, through the through the portion that's behind our stage, up these stairs. This is crazy. I don't know how he's going to walk up the stairs. Through the stairs, double doors, out onto our stage, 
And through the stage, we're gonna have the big reveal. This is the finale of our lip dub. That's usually what other schools have been shooting for, a huge ending where all their students are there. We're gonna have about 900 students in these bleachers and on the floor in only about two hours, and it's gonna be amazing. So describe how big of an undertaking this is. This is about 450 bleacher seats that just in about 10 minutes were set up with placards so that every student, when they come in here for the final portion of this lip dub, they're gonna get a placard, they're gonna hold it up, and it should, if everything looks right, say JHS, and it should be amazing. Now, again, planning was huge here. We had to set up our grid, our table of what our stand seat, their capacity, where they're at. We had to know exactly where everyone will sit and will be for it to work. We did it in about 10 minutes, jammed it out, and it was great, everybody worked really well. Events like these take more than a camera. It takes equipment to put this all together and make it look like a really professionally done video. For our first lip dub, what we did is we rented equipment online. The camera, the stabilization tools, and the lenses. It was all shipped to us, and then we shipped it back about two days later. It's a much more cost-effective method. This year, we used a Panasonic GH4 camera. It shoots in 4K and produces a really high quality image. Just as important as the camera is the stabilization tool. What we used was a Movi M5 stabilizer from FreeFly Systems. What it does is it keeps that camera even and level, and when you do move it, it's a slow pan and tilt. So as you're running through the halls or up and down stairs like what we did, we went down two flights of stairs, it was a nice, even, progressive movement and shot. What you'll find with most schools is that they have their singers walk backwards as the camera follows them. But what we did, and I'm not sure if we're the pioneers in this, but it feels like it, we had our camera person walk backwards. This time they walked backwards downstairs. That gave the singers the added mobility to walk towards the camera. It looked more natural and it looked more fun. It also allowed for people on the left and right of the shot that are people of our school to be more involved and to be in the frame a little bit longer. Also, don't forget, you're gonna need a portable speaker so that your singers know what they're lip syncing as you run through the certain points of your video. What we ran into was the audio not being loud enough in the speaker, so our singers, you may be able to notice it, at some points didn't hear the song, so it looks a little bit off. You want to counterbalance that by making sure it's plenty loud enough, and remember, you're not going to be using any of the original audio. You're going to be replacing that with the song that you chose through the entirety of your lip dub until maybe the end, like what we did where we had our school chant. When it's all said and done, lip dubs are great events for your school to hold and for your community to watch. It's a lot of fun, but also a lot of work, so be sure to recognize all the moving parts in your school and all that your school can handle. And remember, it doesn't have to be professional grade, just so long as you're making your school a more inclusive and fun place in the process. Good luck with your lip dub. We got it.